not my problem. That was quite obvious. I can't rely on her. That's been known a long time. Better off myself. Nothing to plunder.
I think I've found something. Hey, you! You're the farmer here? You could say so, but I'm really just a tenant. All the land here is owned by one big farmer. How do you make a living? Mostly hunting, and the wood we cut. Of course, we also raise sheep and work the land. O&R saddles me with all these laborers, and I have to keep them busy somehow. Only a few of them are good hunters, you see. Has anything strange happened around here lately? Many strange things are happening these days, but none as strange as the mysterious disappearance of Pardos. He's one of my field workers, and certainly not the kind who would drop everything overnight and slink off just like that, you see. What exactly is so strange about his disappearance? Pardos is such a timid sort. The furthest he's ever been from the farm is to the end of my fields. He would run away at the mere sight of a meat bug. Those things may not be pretty to look at, but you really couldn't call them dangerous. They say there's people who eat them. Gross. You get used to it. Maybe he was simply fed up. Working in the fields was his life. I cannot imagine him having gone to work for another farmer. With me, he could do whatever he wanted. Any clues at all? I think those bandits must have dragged him off. They've been roaming around this area for days now. I once saw them drag a citizen of the town off to their camp. It looked like they were gonna make him a slave. Where is this bandit camp? At the far end of my fields, some steps lead down to a small hollow. That's where they have made themselves at home. I'd like to go look for Pardos there, but there's no way I'm going up against those guys. And you had better give them a wide berth too. They're not known for their sense of humor. Were the bandits carrying weapons when they passed by here? What kind of stupid question is that? How would they be bandits if they weren't armed? I mean a whole load of weapons, a big delivery. I see. Yes. Now that you mention it, they were carrying lots and lots. Some in barrels, some in bags, and some on the cart they brought. You're employing day laborers? Onar sends away the workers he can't use on his farm. Then, he sends them to me. I feed them and they work here for me. What do you think of Onar? <laughs> He's a greedy bastard who'll get us all hanged in the end. One of these days, the paladins will come out of the city and make us small farmers bleed for what he's doing here. But I haven't got a choice. The militiamen only come here to collect and not to defend the farm. If I held myself loyal to the city, I'd be very much on my own. At least Onar sends some mercenaries now and then to see how we're doing. What have you got against the royal troops? It's obvious. There hasn't been any improvement now that the paladins are in the city. Just the opposite. Now these cursed militiamen come onto our land even more often and steal everything they can. And the paladins don't do a darn thing about it. The only paladins that I've ever seen are the two guards at the pass. <laughs> they wouldn't budge an inch, even if the militia slaughtered us all. The pass? Yeah, the pass to the old valley of mines by the waterfalls at the other end of the high pastures. Ask Malik about it. He was there a couple times last week. 
Balthazar the shepherd isn't allowed on your pasture. Oh yeah, that story. I told him Sekob should pay me money if he wanted to lead the sheep into my pasture. To tell the truth, that's only harassment. I just can't stand Balthazar. Hey, you! Everything all right? Yet another day laborer who doesn't know where to go? No problem. Talk with our farmer, Bengar. That doesn't surprise me. What are you doing here? I'm the shepherd here. It's not exactly a demanding job. But now and then, you really have to watch out. Especially if you get too close to the pass. What do you know about the pass? Not much. Just that it leads to the old Valley of Mines that was surrounded by the barrier until a few weeks ago. Back then, the only thing we farmers had to be afraid of was the monthly caravan that took all kinds of goods to the Valley of Mines. Those cutthroats often made life difficult for us out here. Where can I find the pass to the old Valley of Mines? Near the two waterfalls on the other side of the high pastures. What is it they say about the Valley of Mines? All sorts of things. Some of the boys say they've heard screams at night. Some have seen strange lights over the mountains. But if you ask me, it's all just old wives' tales. Have you ever been to the Valley of Mines? No, but I go near the pass once in a while. Then I always see those two paladins who stand around and keep watch. It looks like they're making sure that nothing comes out of the valley. Back then, the Valley of Mines was a natural prison. If you went in, you never came out again. Tell me more about the Paladins. How long have they been posted there? A week or two, I suppose. I don't know exactly. Some time ago, there was even a whole troop of them that disappeared into the pass. Since then, I haven't seen them again. I don't see any women here at all. You got that right. This is a man's farm, so to speak. Works pretty well, I think. Don't work too hard. I'll try.
Where does this path lead? Behind the gate lies the pass to the Valley of Mines. We're on this side. On the other, a few orcs have dug themselves in. It's better if you go back. You cannot get through here. And what if I go at my own risk? Then you will die. That's why we're here, so that you don't get such stupid ideas. How's the hunting? The last animal I could bring down was a large rat. Not very encouraging and bad for business. For several days now, some kind of snorting beast has been roaming the area. It not only kills everything that moves, it also interferes with my work. What does this dangerous beast look like? I don't know exactly. Up to now, I mostly heard grunting and scratching but I've seen what it can do. Even wolves aren't safe from it. The beast even bit the head off of one. Where does this scummy beast come from? Somewhere from outside the woods, maybe from the Valley of Mines, but I don't know for sure. I've never been to the Valley of Mines. You've got a lot of space up here. It's nice enough. But if you go through the pass back there, you won't think so much longer. <laughs> if this little tract of land has impressed you, then wait till you see the Valley of Mines back there. Why are you looking so solemn? You're wearing our aquamarine ring. You belong to the Ring of Water? I certainly do. Good to see a new face in our ranks. What's your task within the Ring of Water? I keep an eye on the entrance to the pass, to see who goes in and out. Since the paladins have closed the gate to the pass, however, there hasn't been much coming and going. Have you heard of those missing people? Of Course I have. That's why we're supposed to keep our eyes open. But I haven't seen much that would give you a clue, to tell you the truth. Who are you? My name is Gan. I'm a hunter and work for Bengar, the farmer here on the high pastures. I spend most of my time here outside, basking in the sun. What do I need to know about the Valley of Mines? No idea. I'm only taking a fleeting glance at the valley. Look pretty dangerous. The best thing to do if you go there, through the pass, is to stay close to the beaten track. Either you take the way through the big gorge or the road over the stone bridge. That one is shorter and safer. Now that the orcs are roaming all over the place, you have to be a bit careful. I don't want to have to drag you to the Herb Witch. Herb Witch? Her name is Sagita, and she's the healer for the farmers and the other people who live outside the harbor city. A truly curious female. No one really likes going to her, and everybody enjoys gossiping about her. But if you're sick, you won't find better help than Sagita in her kitchen full of healing herbs. You'll find her in the strip of woods behind Sekub's farm. How much would you pay me if I killed that beast for you? I'd give the person who killed it everything I could spare. 30 gold pieces. Can you teach me about hunting? No problem. For a hundred gold coins, I can show you how to gut the animals you bring down. Pelts and other trophies bring a lot of money in the market. Here, one hundred gold coins for your expertise on gutting animals. Thanks. Now you're talking. What can you teach me? That depends on what you want to know. The best way to remove the wings of a blood fly is with a blow from a sharp knife very close to the fly's body. You have to watch out you don't damage the delicate tissue of the wings. They're worthless if you don't do it carefully. What can you- That depends. These flies have a soft spot on their backs. If you press there, the stinger will be squeezed out very far 
and you can detach it with your knife. One less monster around. Nothing to be had there. Less monster around. Smart kid. One less monster around. Uh, I think I've found something. Nothing to be had there. I think I've found something. Oh, my God. 
nothing, nothing there. I can't read that. Hey, you! I found your buried things. Then you should be carrying about a hundred gold coins, a golden chalice, a silver dish, and an amulet. And they're all mine. Give them here. Here's your stuff. A bag with one hundred gold coins, a golden chalice, a silver dish, and an amulet. Very good. You're lucky that you weren't dumb enough to simply take the stuff and run. Here's your share of the booty. I take it you're looking for someone named Dexter? Damn it, how would I know the fellow's name? Maybe we should go and see him together. I've still got a bone to pick with him. I can handle that by myself. I know where you can find him. Really? Tell me! Not far from here. He seems to be the leader of an evil gang of bandits. Ha! <laughs> yup. That's him. I knew the old landlubber'd hold up here somewhere. Now, all I need to do is scour all the hideouts and rat holes around here. I'll find that bastard. Don't need your help for that. Was falling down drunk. There's only There's one way for you to get into our camp alive, and that's over the bridge. You don't have to ask me that. Oh, you can't go through here. I want to talk to your leader. Oh, I see. You want to talk to my boss. Well, then of course I'll let you through, but only if you know his name. Because if you don't, I'll be obliged to kill you. Well? Dexter. Well, I guess you know the boss. 
Okay, I'll let you through. But I'm warning you, you get too close to anybody, you won't get out of here alive. So take a deep breath and leave your weapons where they are. You'll find Dexter in the house. Nobody ever asks me. Tell me that isn't true. Who said that? It was his decision, wasn't it? He should have known better. There was no big deal. <sighs> What's up? I used to say that myself. As if I didn't have enough problems. I used to say that myself. That's exactly what I said. Same old thing, all over again. He should have known better. I couldn't care less. Exactly what I said. That's no secret. I could have told you that before. Things would have turned out differently if it hadn't been for us. I wouldn't have done that. Huh. What does he know about duty? That'll only cause more trouble. I've got Think? Look who's here, the great emancipator. Well, hero, what are you doing here? I'm looking for a few answers. I never thought you'd come here voluntarily. What do you mean by that? I mean that I've been looking for you. Haven't you seen any of my wanted posters? They all bear your mug. Oh yes, you're very much wanted. Didn't you know that? So, what do you want from me? Me? Nothing whatsoever. But my boss is hell-bent on seeing you dead. So he wants me to find you and bring him your head. They say that you're kidnapping people from Corinus. So you found that out too. Good work, Buster. And here I was thinking I had covered my tracks. Where did those people disappear to? Maybe down the mine somewhere here? <laughs> They're far away in the northeast by now where you can't get to them. I could show you where exactly, but I don't know why I would want to do that. Who gave you this order? My boss. He's a dangerous man. You know him. Raven, one of the former ore barons from the old camp in the Valley of Mines. He needs those people to fulfill his plans, and that's all you need to know. <laughs> an ore baron here in Corinus? He's no longer an ore baron. He's got plans of his own and Corinus will feel that before long. Raven? Dangerous? Oh well. What do you know? You don't know him like I do. He was a miserable swine even back then, but these days he has changed since the fall of the barrier. There's a black shadow across his face. His fierce glance will pierce you like the claws of a raptor. If you look into his eyes for too long, my only advice to you is Leave Corinus as fast as you can, before it's too late. There's nothing here for you, except for certain death. And what do you intend to do now? Kill me? Yeah, but you set us all free. That's why I'm giving you another chance. Beat it, disappear, make yourself invisible. Go and don't cross my path again. 
I need to know where you brought those people. <laughs> well, you could try beating it out of me. It's better for you if you leave now. If I see you around here again, I won't hesitate to kill you. You asked for this. Dexter bought it, right? Looks like he's dead. None too soon either. Go check out what he's got on him. Nothing there. You're in for it now. So much for you, lowlife. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. The bastard doesn't even have any gold on him. I think I'll take your weapon. F Nothing there. Hey. Dexter carried nothing but this letter. Show me that thing. Ah, oh, damn it, that doesn't help me at all. We shouldn't have just let him croak like that. You wouldn't happen to know how to cross those mountains in the northeast of Corinus. Maybe through an underground tunnel? The water mages are currently studying a portal which leads to the mountains in the northeast. What's this nonsense? Bah, water mages. Can't you come up with something better? No. 
So I'm stranded here. Dexter was my last hope. What did you want from Dexter? I've come from beyond the mountains in the northeast of this island, and I want to go back. I had hoped that the bastard would know how to get there without a ship. I saw a pirate named Skip near the port. That moron. I waited there for three days, so why is he coming so late? Once I get my strength back, I'll give him what for. What is there beyond those mountains? You had better not try to go there. Those are rough lands a wimp like you wouldn't last long. One more thing. I'm grateful that you helped me, but that doesn't make us friends if you get my drift.